Christmas came a week early for Aurora Public School families. Today, a generous donor dropped off a massive check to help pay off unpaid lunch debt. Well, Ms. Denver 7's Tom Mustin tells us for the school and the parents, this gift was nothing short of a miracle. For our families, this is a really big gift for them. Lunchtime at Aurora's Lansing Elementary School. It is something that helps us out a lot. For many of these students, the lunch hour is just as important as math or science. These chicken tenders may be part of the only healthy meal they'll have today. Lansing is one of 18 Aurora schools qualified for Title I low-income funding. Principal Jennifer Murtha says 6% of her students come from homeless families. You know, they can't feed or clothe their children right now, and so they rely on assistance to help get them through the day. Wednesday, the school received a holiday gift check of $60,000 from Canvas Credit Union. The money will help pay off the lunch debt at the Title I schools. The debt can get into the six figures, um, and so when you really can cut into that, it frees up resources to hire teachers, to provide more curriculum, to do things that all kids will need to be supported. 85% of the students here at Lansing Elementary School take part in the free or reduced lunch program. And now some of their parents say this massive check is a Christmas miracle. It's a blessing. Kevin Birdwell has a daughter at Lansing. His family is going through some tough times. And not having to pay his daughter's reduced lunch bill is allowing his family to have a Christmas. For us, it means that we can provide other things for, you know, my daughter takes a load off. Because of this holiday helping hand, many parents will now be able to pay their rent and heating bills. An unexpected gift, humbly accepted by grateful parents like Kevin Birdwell. This is one of the best things that you can receive. You know, somebody is trying to help their fellow Humans, being a good friend. Merry Christmas to everyone. In Aurora, Tom Mustin, Denver 7.